Well, hey everybody, it's Mark again with My Whistle and Flute, and I wanted to put out kind of a an, um, an explanation video. <clears throat> a lot of times, especially when I have flutes that are custom orders, people will request um, that uh, all the finger holes be the same size or that they be a certain distance apart. And while I try to accommodate as often as possible, there are some limitations with open keyed flutes and whistles that I think it's important to understand. And once you understand them, I think it makes sense. And then uh, we can work with within those limitations. So I have two uh, here, two different ones. Uh, this uh, is our uh, B flat fife, okay? Um, and it's, uh, it's about 13 inches uh, in length. So you can see in this that while the holes are similar in size, this one here is the largest of the two. Uh, this one and this one uh, are smaller. So basically what we have here is we have this hole is a quarter inch in diameter. Uh, this hole is three-eighths inch. Uh, this is back to a quarter and then all three of these are uh, five-sixteenths holes. Why the difference in, uh, in hole size and uh, also uh, the difference in um, space between one hole and another? So the farther up the flute you go, the higher the tone. Now, if this is elementary, you can go on to the next video, but just I have a lot of people asking, so I wanted to put out an explanation about it. This is a B flat fife because the distance from the sound hole to the end of the flute brings the pitch of the pipe, the longer the flute, as well as the um, um, smaller or larger of the diameter that's the inside of the pipe. So those two things affect the overall pitch, the root note, the inside diameter and the length of the flute. So this one with a, an inside diameter of 0.622 centimeters and uh, then the length brings this to a concert B flat pitch. Now each hole, you can think about it like each hole is essentially shortening the flute by that much more because the sound is coming out of that hole uh, instead of coming out of the end of the flute. So when I have all holes covered, that's our root note. That's B flat. When I lift off my finger from this final hole, uh, from the last hole, then it goes up to the next tone. And, and on up, okay? Then with overblowing, we go all the way to hole covered again in the second octave. We won't get into that. But why the difference in size? Well, that has to do both the placement of the hole and the size of the hole has something to do with the, uh, with the overall uh, tone of, of the flute and the physics of it. So the smaller the hole, the closer to the, uh, let me see if I'm getting this right, the smaller the hole, the farther towards the mouthpiece it can come, while the same note can be made by making a larger hole um, farther towards the end of the flute. So what we try to do when we're making the flutes is to position the holes in such a way that they're comfortable and uh, able to make the different pitches in, in the scale. So with this one being a quarter inch hole at the bottom, if I made it larger, say a 5 16 inch, it would actually come down the flute a little ways uh, and then the largest hole that I make in these half-inch diameters is um, uh, 3 8 inch or 0.375 uh, centimeters or 0.375 uh, in inches and uh, it would go even farther yet. That would increase the distance between the middle finger and this ring finger and, in, and, and make that stretch difficult to where you might even have to use a pinky. So I try to adjust the holes for what's comfortable for me. I have medium to uh, medium to large hand, and uh, if I know that if I can comfortably reach it, then smaller hands should be able to, and larger hands as well. Now, um, uh, okay. So let me give you an, an idea of where this uh, how how this comes into play. So this is one of our newest whistles. Uh, probably our most popular flute is our Arabian scale flute, and so I made this. Uh, Arabian scale um, penny whistle out of half inch um, uh, pipe. Now you can notice a couple of things. One, this hole down here is not in line with the other holes. Two, there's quite a difference in size between these holes. Okay, so this hole down here is five sixteenths. This is three eighths. 
this is one quarter, this is three eighths, this is, um, I think it is um, three sixteenths or 0 .1875, uh, and then this is again um, uh, three eighths uh, or 0 .375. Um, I think I said 0 .1875 there for that one. Uh, okay, so this is way down here, and so when you're doing it, you actually do have to play it with your pinky, which is the reason it's offset uh, to make that a little bit easier than having to be up here, uh, and it doesn't affect the tone at all. But the reason is because this is an Arabian scale, which is a double minor scale. That means this note, all covered, is G in the case of this flute. Okay, the very next note in this double minor scale, also called the Arabian scale, is G sharp, which is only a half tone, a semitone away from the root note. Okay, the very the next note above that is all the way up to a B. So you've got G, then G sharp, then we've got um, A, A sharp, and then B. So there, the, from between G sharp and B, is two is a whole tone, a whole step, or two semitones. That's quite a distance. So it's not possible for the, it is, okay, it's not as um, uh, feasible for this hole to be closer to these holes without doing one of two things. Either making this hole much larger, and that's about as large as you want to make it in a, uh, in, a, in a flute of half inch diameter, or to make this hole smaller, and that will bring it up slightly. But then again, we, as a flute maker or a whistle maker, you have to recognize that that lowest um, hole, especially on these lower flutes and whistles, this uh, final hole, this um, uh, R6 hole sometimes because it's the right hand and the sixth hole, the smaller this hole is, the softer or cloudier that tone will sound. So if I turn this from 5 sixteenths to a, a quarter inch, it still might work, but I'm going to lose some volume because the hole is smaller. That doesn't make as much of a difference the closer to the sound hole, in this case, that we get. So the hole placement is determined by the scale, a minor scale or a pentatonic scale uh, or uh, some other exotic scale is going to uh, have different size holes and different placement of those holes. The longer or the larger the flute, the uh, the wider the holes are apart. Let me see if I can illustrate that. So uh, this is uh, this is my low D flute here, and um, this is the B flat. Now you can see that not only are are the holes spread apart farther, but the distance between the holes is quite a bit different. My wife, who has small hands, has a difficult time playing this uh, low D flute because the fingers, it is it is quite a stretch. Some people even use a modified Piper's grip. And it's not just because that's where we want to place the holes. It is because the scale, the inside diameter of the pipe, the length of the flute, to get the right notes in the scale requires a hole placement that is a combination of the size of the hole and where the hole is placed on the flute. And what we try to do is to make sure that it's as comfortable as possible. In the case of this Arabian uh, penny whistle, it really there when you have this double minor scale, you're almost always going to have this big distance between the uh, R5 and the R6 hole. I think it can easily be accommodated by resting your ring finger here and playing with your pinky. But most people would never be able to make the stretch between that middle finger and I can't stretch with my ring finger. So I use my pinky and I rest my finger here. And it doesn't, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but that's the reason. So I just wanted to throw that out there because some people ask and they want uh, specific hole placements and I do the best we can to accommodate. but. Um, we're kind of restricted by physics with these open open keyed flutes. Regular concert flutes that have the pads and the keys and all of that, they can compensate for the distance with all the mechanisms that allow the fingers to be exactly spaced apart. Open keyed flutes and whistles don't have that luxury so that we do the best we can with the inside diameter and the length of, of the pipe. But ultimately, once you get used to it, you can have a lot of fun playing your instrument.
That's the reason for the hole placement. I hope that answers your questions, and I hope you find this video of value. If you do, subscribe. Uh, leave a message in the comments, and I always try to respond. Have a great day, guys.